Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Family, we may have disagreements here and there, and sometimes our disagreements may be intense, but there are a few things in this world that everybody can agree with. One of those things is that, for example, the features is a terrible YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, boy. I am the king of technical difficulties. Imagine I've been doing this for two years and still can't figure out how the sound work. But despite being an awful YouTuber, we still got something that your biggest social media personalities don't have. For example, the quality of our messaging, our ability to present arguments in a manner that everybody can understand and nobody can walk back from. We could talk about the hearty amount of evidence that we present, the delivery, which is hard hitting, clear and consistent. All those things, which Sneeko has never shown, Damn! nor had the ability to show or produce, but we aren't talking about any of those things right now. The main difference between us and Sneeko is that we are monetized on YouTube. So despite us being dusty and broke and all this kind of stuff on YouTube, compared to Sneeko and what he's making on YouTube, I'm rich, God. So we can make money on YouTube talking about Sneeko while all he can do is sit down and watch. There's also another group of people who make money off of the cloud of Sneeko, and we call them the YouTubian Dawa elites. You see, your YouTubian Dawa elites follow a religion named Algorithm Islam. It's when something viral comes onto the algorithm and you try to Islamify it and package yourself as an alleged Islamic Dawah channel. So one of the quickest routes to a big bag is right off the clout of degenerate white supremacists whose careers are in jeopardy because they are <laughs> demonetized. They get to pull a large Muslim base to their degenerate content, and you get to ride the algorithmic wave all the way to the bank singing the praises of these degenerates. But now, sadly, that wave seems to be coming to an end. Now, Fuzi from FuziTube, as most of you immigrant Muslims already know, I'm sure, has completely crashed out. He was kicked off by kick. You see how I did that, right? Kick, kicked off by kick. Anyways. Now, we said many times that your YouTube and Dawa elites have been platforming Sneeko, making street Dawa with this moron, and they've exposed the wider Muslim community to something we've never seen before. And one of the criticisms that we had was that he will be making Dawa today with Uthman bin Farouk, and then he'll be together in a hot tub with Fuzi and some OnlyFans hoes tomorrow. And we said many times that this dude is a grifter. While your YouTube and Dawa elites are defending him with this horse. Pay attention. What these Christians really hate is the amount of support brothers like Sneeko are receiving from the Muslim community. They are completely jealous of our brotherhood. Stop it. Get some help. Guess what? I don't think Fuzi is jealous of Sneeko. He had this to say. Sneeko lets other people fuck his bitches. Can I fuck yours? Matter of fact, Sneeko. Fake ass, fake Muslim that you sit on your computer desk and what? Red pill. I let bitches, I let other men f my bitches, but I'm an example of what a man is because I'm Muslim. Yeah, then why do you f a different bitch every night? Why, when you did my dating show, did you f one of the girls that night? And the only reason she f you is because she wanted to win the grand prize. Don't make me say who it was. I told you many times, don't make me expose you. Your ass still talk. You f a different bitch in every city. My assistant, Mia, oh, I shouldn't have said her name. He f her. But guess what? He goes on a stream. How the blam and the shaitan rajim, it's Allah Rahman Rahim, and acts like he's Muslim. Why? Because he grifts to that audience. Why? Because the Muslim audience is the most powerful in the world. Because Islam is the most powerful religion in the world. And if he manipulates all of them to believe that he's a revert, who's gonna spread the message of Islam? They're gonna protect him because he's one of the most hated men in the world. Nigga, I'm on to you. I was with you in the car. I know you. I bitches with you. When we went to uh, Atlanta or someplace, uh, where were we, Toronto? 
He had a bitch on the couch. I had a bitch on the couch. We stayed up all night. They both slept and cuddled with each other. I went upstairs. I didn't her, but I went upstairs with her. Fake. They all are. All of them. But guess what? I could never expose them before. But guess what? I don't have any handlers anymore. So what was all that twitching and twerking and twirling and red panty night for Sneeko for? Ali Gawa literally changed the whole religion. Christ is king. So obviously people are a bit worried like, oh my gosh, because you hear that statement from Christians. Christians say, Christ is king or Christ is Lord and Christ is the king of kings. And we as Muslims, we love Jesus. We defend his honor. Yes, we defend his honor uh, as much as possible. And we would love to be in his army. And he is the king of all kings on earth. But wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. All these YouTube and Dawah elites promoting and platforming this guy for the better part of two years. So he can openly spew the most hateful white supremacist rhetoric on his platform while asking y'all, we can say the hidden word in the slum, right? <laughs> That's so funny. Look at y'all with this only man's dial today and only fans doggy style tomorrow. Y'all are making money making Islam look like a massive joke. But y'all need to do something for me. All of y'all who are betting the personality and the clout of social media influencers was better for Muslims than actual principles of Islam. And shockingly, the degenerates that you promoted from Tate to Sneeko to Myron Amru Fatal Gaines to eventually Dan Blazarian, all of them turned on the Muslims after securing a bag. All of y'all who thought it was good dawah practices to platform actual pimps and actual degenerates and actual white supremacists, actual con men, not reformed con men, not reformed pimps, actual pimps, white supremacist con men, and the degenerates and calling it dawah i need y'all to do something and whether it's muhammad hijab and the daniel hikikaju and the muslim mom and ali dawah and eddie from the dean show and the warner and any one of the youtube dawah elites i didn't mention because i'm trying to keep this video under an hour i need y'all to do something for me i need you to go to Amazon.com, as you can see, Amazon.com is right here. Then once you're there, I need you to type in E-L-L-E -L -L -E and then search. L Magazine will come up. Then I want you to click on it. Click on L, okay? Then you will see here, you have purchase options. You can purchase on Kindle, hardcover, whatever. Doesn't make a difference. I need you to purchase it. Purchase a copy, okay? Buy your copy. Have it delivered to your house. Once you get it at your house, start rolling your cameras, get your studio ready, get your editing ready, all that, okay? Then when everything's in place, I need you to take a deep breath. Hit record. And hold this out. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump.